today we're going to make a pita mint risotto and we're going to serve it with a sea bass fillet from Keenan Seafood. So for a risotto we're going to make it first. It takes about 15-20 minutes to make. So we've got our arborio rice, we've got frozen peas, some white wine, a chardonnay, fresh mint from the garden, give it a wee wash, some garlic, diced onions, butter and some parmesan. So first thing we're going to do is put our pan on the heat, get it nice and warm. I'm going to add a wee splash of our oil and a couple of knobs of butter. I'm going to melt those down. I'm going to pan fry our onions. Pan fry these first and our garlic. I'm just going to soften these slightly before we have our rice. We've got our arborio rice or our risotto rice, it depends what it says in the packet, but it's all the, it's all the same. We're just going to coat these rice grains and that's the oil and the butter before we start adding our stock. Now today I'm using the chicken stock, but you can also use the vegetable stock. So we got the rice all put it. This is a warm chicken stock. And we're just gonna bring it up to the boil there. And let the rice absorb. The chicken stock, and then I'm going to add another ladle. That's why it takes a, a long time to make, or 15 minutes to make. And you just be careful that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. You just keep stirring. Add a little chicken stock. Give that a wee stir. And just turn it down, we're going to let it simmer while we're stirring it. After simmering for 15 minutes and stirring our chicken stock in, we're going to give it now a wee splash of white wine. Stir that in. You can do that at the start when you add your onions, but I like to add it down near the end. Just to give that, keep that flavour of the white wine. Stirring our white wine, we're going to add our fresh mint and our peas. Give it a stir in. A knob of our butter and some of our parmesan. We've got a wee stir in. And we're just going to let it sit now with a lid on it. And this, is, this is the important part. Put a lid on, let it sit, and then as the rice will just start to get nice and creamy and a nice wee creamy sauce. So it'll, nice, it'll cook away there. So when it's resting, we're going to do our sea bass. Okay, now we're going to do our sea bass. So you got a wee splash of oil. Take a wee sea bass fillet, it's all nice and trimmed. And we cut wee slits along the skin to, so the heat penetrates into the flesh. So we've got oil hot, almost with a hot pan, never start with a cold pan. Pan fry it. Hold it down for a couple of seconds so the skin keeps contact with the pan. And the same again for the tail then. Into the pan, press it down for a couple of seconds. And then we're going to do a bit of salt, a bit of pepper. We're going to cook this for about 
60 to 70 percent on the skin side and you see the sea bass will start to cook and the white coming up through the fish and once it comes up a little bit further then we're going to turn it over turn off the pan and add some butter and some lemon juice and let the heat of the pan then finish the cooking and then we'll play it up with the risotto so it's coming on nicely that and make sure the pan is nice and warm if it gets too cold then the fish will stick to the pan and then there's will not be nice, nicely presented so just cooking away nicely there you can see this rising and this goes for salmon as well and cod and especially hake as well you can do wee fillets but if you're doing like a thick fillet with a cod and a hake and the salmon you can finish it off in the oven for another few minutes but make sure you've got an oven proof pan not, not a, a plastic or a rubber handle so our sea bass is coming on nicely we're going to turn it over and we're going to turn off the heat so turn it over just like that turn off the heat and I'll add another butter squeeze the lemon juice and just base sea bass just set that to the side and we're going to plate our risotto while the sea bass is cooking away there we're going to plate up our risotto just give it a little stir Stir in your butter and your parmesan. So just a wee spoonful in the middle of the bowl. Just a wee bit more. And our sea bass. So I like to put the, the tail end down first. And then the top end of the fillet on top. We got a wee bit of parmesan on the top. And a wee drizzle, just a slight drizzle of broidered gold over the top. And there we have it folks. That's our sea bass with a pea and mint risotto. Check out the rest of my recipes on the Isolated Chef. Thank you. Bye bye.